So one of the most frustrating things to see whenever you're trying to stream is drop frames. Now I personally experienced this issue to where as my frames would drop, which caused my stream to look choppy, distorted, delayed, or just unpleasant to look at. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what I personally had to do to not only fix this issue on the network side, but also on the hardware side so that way you can achieve a full 1080p 60fps stream. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is check your upload speed by heading over to speedtest.net. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that way you can go directly to this page. And so the reason why we want to check our upload speed is because this is going to determine how much bitrate we can use inside of OBS to send data over to Twitch. And so according to Twitch, in order for you to have a 1080p 60 FPS stream, you are going to need to meet a minimum requirement of 6,000 kilobytes per second of bitrate, which is also equivalent to six megabytes per second of upload speed. Now I would recommend having a minimal of 20 megabytes per second of upload speed as a precaution if you have multiple devices or people on your internet. And if that is the case, then the more people or devices hooked onto your internet will use up more of your bandwidth resources which will then bring down your internet speed and cause drop frames. Now, if you do have a slow upload speed, then that's perfectly okay. You're just gonna have to probably drop your bit rate down um, from a 1080p stream to a 720p running at either 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. And if you wanna know what those settings are, I'm gonna make sure I leave a chart on the screen right now and you can just pause the video and you can copy these settings and put them inside of your OBS. Now, the second thing that I had to do to fix this issue was changing the server that I was using inside of OBS. Now, normally I would have my destination server set to auto as this is supposed to automatically use the server that is closest to me to stream to Twitch. But for some reason, after one of the updates that OBS had, the server had me in a completely different country, which was not compatible with my internet provider, which caused my network to drop frames consistently. So now I would recommend just either picking the closest state to you if you live inside the United States or downloading the Twitch bandwidth test software, which will allow you to use your stream key to determine which server works best for you based on either which country or state that you are in. And I'll also make sure that I leave a link down in the description below so that way you can download this as well. Okay, so if you did download the software, you should automatically be brought to this screen right here. And the only thing you're gonna have to do is just get your stream key from your Twitch channel, which you can do by clicking this blue link right here that says get key. Once you get the key and you paste it right here, you are then able to check which continent you are in. So that can be Europe, North America, South America, Asia, or any other. And then once you click it, it's automatically going to check the North America servers and you can either just click on start and then it's automatically going to use North American servers and it's going to just run the bandwidth to figure out which one works best for you. Now, once the test is done, you will be able to determine which server works best for you based on the quality number as well as the RTT, which stands for round trip time. So that basically means on how long it takes for your internet to reach the server and then for the server to reach back to your internet. So for me, if I take a look, it's going to be Ashburn, Virginia. That's going to be the best server that was best for me as this has the shortest RTT as well as the highest quality as well as the best bandwidth. So for you, just make sure you look at which one works best for the area that you're in and make sure you go inside of OBS and select that as your destination server. Now, while you're also inside of your OBS, there's another thing that you can do to make sure that there's absolutely nothing that goes wrong with your stream. And that is by going over to advanced, scrolling all the way down until you see network, and then heading over to the very first box and checking dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion beta. What this does is that if there is any type of lag spike within your internet, um, the OBS system is automatically gonna catch it 
and it's going to change your bit rate to that way the stream won't lag it won't stutter it won't look disgusting it won't look disgusting whenever somebody is watching it it's just all it's just going to change the quality a little bit until your internet catches right back up to its original quality now the very last thing that you can do to fix this issue is turning off your vpn if you have one so if you are gaming or streaming from the same computer that you work off of and your job requires you to have a vpn the easiest and simplest way to fix your internet frames is by just turning off the vpn now if you don't want to turn off your vpn that is also fine what you can do is come right back inside of settings you're going to go down to advanced and then you're going to go right back to network and inside of the network section you will see where it says bind to ip what you can do is you can click on this drop down menu i'm not going to do that because it shows my ip address but you can click that drop down menu and you can select your vpn and then you can go ahead and just click apply and okay and then start your stream now when it comes to the hardware side of obs what I personally would recommend doing is checking to see if your graphics card is up to date. And so what you're going to do, if you have an NVIDIA's graphic card like I do, you're going to open up the application and you're going to come over to the driver section to check and see if you have anything that needs to be installed. If not, it's going to tell you that you're up to date right here on the top left hand corner. And the one thing that I do love about the NVIDIA application is that if you go over to the graphics section, it is actually going to give you the best settings for your computer. So for my OBS, it tells me exactly what I should have um, for my encoder, which is the NVIDIA NVAC NH.264. It tells me that I should use these. And then if you're running any games, it's going to give you a preview value for what it is you should run your game for to give you the best performance in game. And then you can also do that for Streamlabs, OBS, for any other games that you play. So there you have it. That is what I personally had to do to fix any drop frame issues, either on the network side or the hardware side. So I do hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you made it to the end, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go on ahead and subscribe as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. Now, if there's anything else that you want to know about OBS, make sure you click on this playlist right here as I walk you through how to set up plugins, overlays, how the best settings for OBS, and so much more. So with that said, thank you guys so much for your time and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.